Was that recording earlier or not? So then I'll just add that <laughs> part in. So okay. Wait, it wasn't so, recording no. at all. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so, okay, here we are now. <laughs> right? Hey everybody, welcome back. Sean Helms here, and today I have with me my next door neighbor and close personal friend, Clay, and uh, he wanted to build a NAS system for his house. And between the two of us, I think we could share assets, being that I get to benefit from using this with Clay most of the time. So uh, I want to let him describe what parts we have here and what we're going to do and why he would have a NAS server in the first place. We like to consume a lot of media, so we have a lot of uh, movies that we have legally bought and then backed up. And we keep them backed up on, you know, the traditional just a, a computer that has a Plex media server. Yeah, I server. put some of my movies on his server too because he comes up and goes to my DVDs and he's like, okay, let's back these up. Well, we're sharing it because uh, we both own them. We need to be a little more grown up about things and have them in a raid situation where we don't lose all our data <laughs> if something happens, which is where we are right now. So uh, we just thought, you know, we would buy some things and put it together and see what happens. Being that we haven't done this together before, we're. Uh, the, the, the stuff that we bought, we don't know what we're missing yet. So that's going to be the mm. part of the learning process too. Just because, winging it basically. Yeah, we're basically winging it. <laughs> so yeah, we have this uh, fractal case, this Node 804. It'll, the reason I got it is just because it's a small form factor. It's not huge, it's not tiny either though. So we can probably work in it a little better and it will hold a lot of drives. It'll hold, I think it says it holds eight, three and a half and two solid states. Oh yeah, the so, two solid state. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, clear off the table real quick and we'll be right back. We're just gonna clear it off and we're gonna start unboxing the case and show you what it is and how we're gonna put it together. And then we'll just go from piece to piece after that, unboxing it and talk about it. And then have this thing up and running by this afternoon. This is your letter opener. <laughs> Here, I'll get out of the way. <laughs> Watch yourself. How does, how does <laughs> one get one out of on camera? You're the <laughs> expert. got the fractal case open. It's got some nice breathability to it too. It's got this whole vented surface area, if you can see that from up here. Uh, but it might be helpful Just throw that on the to be able to act. <laughs> yeah, don't throw it. Don't. for the cages. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool. Here, here you go. So here we go. We're learning as we go. Yep. All right, we have a pretty open case, so it should be pretty easy to work with. So first off, we're going to start with the power supply now that we've got the case open. And with the power supply, Clay bought the EVGA Supernova. It's a 550 GM. He did a lot of research and preparing for this so <laughs> did i <laughs> yeah i did he did <laughs> no he did, he did. He, yeah he, i watched he did i watched this one video and they said this is probably a good power supply is that a printer the answer is no in fact it is a computer and so i said i think those guys are reputable <laughs> it's mode. so tiny i know I'm going to lay the plate across the top of it, fasten it down so it will fit inside the case that goes right there. So it should fit pretty well. And the fan's down. Oh, that's, that's a mistake. Uh oh. Go this way. Oh, oh yeah, down. yeah, you're right. You're right. We're not recording though, right? You're not recording. I recording. <laughs> we got all of that. Got it. We oh, yeah. But we don't need to put that one on. It's dark, yeah. man. That's why that uh, filter's down there on the bottom. You're right. Obviously. Like I said, between the two of us, <laughs> going together like a charm. I'm kind of surprised how much stuff you can fit in there because he's got four. 10 terabytes iron wolves. I just, uh -huh. ah, I'm so jealous of that. No, you're not jealous of the price. I probably am not jealous. And like I said, everything will be posted down below so <laughs> you can go check for yourselves. Board. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute and we're gonna bring the motherboard out and then we're gonna set it up real fast. And if you find any of the little silicone packets, make sure you hold on to those. Oh, I have a bag of them and it's actually recently saved me because I left one of my Elgato lights outside a panel light. Uh, and it rained and it was sitting in a puddle and it wouldn't come on and I was like, oh, turn it off real quick. I, it tried to, so I stuck it in that little silicone, I keep it in a Ziploc bag, 
The next day I got up, turned it on, it's completely dry, it worked, it worked fine. So, lifesavers, make sure you don't eat them like they say, don't eat, but do save them. Get You've it. just built a few recently. I have. Uh, so you're a few. Okay. All right, first things first. Take off these heat sinks. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put our M.2s on. And then after we put our M.2 on, we're going to put the processor on. And again, uh, he's got the 5000 series processor 5, here. 5000 AMD 5, so. Well. AMD Ryzen. This is actually the first Ryzen build that I've ever been involved with because mm, I've, same. I'm have i an Intel guy, always have been. And uh, NVIDIA, GeForce, you know. But I'm hearing a lot of great things about it, so it's time to make the transition and live vicariously through him. So if it goes poorly, all I have to do is feel guilty for him. A thousand got gigabyte. A <laughs> freaking terabyte of M.2 solid state drive. The prices on them, you know, are just so comparable. Like if you, you could get 250 or a terabyte for just not much, many more dollars. It's just ridiculous, that yeah. memory yeah. nowadays. My first computer was a Tandy TRS-80 from Radio Shack. Oh, a trash 80. Yep, and I had the, uh, <laughs> the green monochrome screen on it. Trash 80. I had a man. tape drive as a hard drive. Didn't have floppy drives even. I had a Commodore 64. That was my second big upgrade was with the disc system. with the five and a half inch. Drive. I had the five and a, there were fifteen forty ones. Uh -huh. The yeah. uh, Commodore sixty four fifteen forty ones. I had like four of them because I thought it was so cool to be able to type slash d <laughs> slash e, you know, and to get to that drive and access that drive instead of actually just taking the five and a quarter inch floppy mm -hmm. out and putting a new That's one a in. You know, it's just more I, it. man stuff. You get it. <laughs> hey, hey. We're gonna take this little I.O. port, daughter board, all right. Little guy to expand two SATAs off of this M.2. Yeah, so we'll put that one standoff in and that screw will fit right there. How is it? Perfect. Does it work for you? You can flip it over and put the uh, one on the back now. Deadly bits. Okay, let's try that one again. Alright. Take a little hand. There, it just fell. Yeah, now it wiggles a little bit. And the only reason it does that is so you can do that. And now it doesn't move, so we're good. That's, it's not stressful. I know it makes you nervous because there's so many little prongs in this thing. So you really got to be careful with them. You just know that that they could be a failure at any moment. <laughs> we're gonna hope that that worked, right? <laughs> That's what we do. We got two 32 gig sticks of DDR4 3600. Pretty sure this is gonna work pretty well first <laughs> first try, first right? Try. Out of the box. I can't imagine that there would be any problems ever, really. There's the first time for everything, who knows? So we got Rip Jaws, 32 gigs. There we go. G, skill. Yeah. And nice. And that is so same. satisfying to hear that click when click, you're click. putting RAM chips in. Click. Click, click. Down. Might use a little bit more thermal paste, just a tiny little dot. But there's not a lot of it. And I, yeah. I removed a little bit. Oh, I mean, there. you're not you're not going to be in bad shape for having too much thermal paste. Well, you don't. You get squeeze, bad shape you when you don't have enough. Squeeze out though, all over. No, no, you don't want too no, much. No, just no. like a little dab right here, because since you already have some on there, because it'll help spread it out. There we go. Yeah, a little bit is good. There we go. And then just lay it down. I don't know why they keep supplying DVDs. <laughs> we gotta put they, in a they drive don't even to sell computers with DVDs yeah. in them anymore. This um, is when the glasses come on, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you can't see anything. And this is why I wear glasses. Because I can't see anything. Hey, look at this. this case is so big we can both be working in it. Look at that. Like this. You're my best friend. <laughs> I can't. Okay, I can't. 
No, don't sing to the camera. Just Sorry. Don't. Okay, you get it. What did you do, man? <laughs> you didn't put your glasses on. Oh wait, you had your glasses on. You need your prescription updated. It's in there. All right. Ready for round two? Okay. Hey, cursor. And action. Yep. Okay, sorry. So we ran into a. <laughs> So we ran into our first snafu and that was with the power supply. And with that power supply, he had to run and get another 750. So it had enough ports to plug in all of the drives. Because apparently, yeah, yeah, the SATA drives just weren't enough cable uh, slots to it in the initial 550 that we had. So mm -hmm. now he's got a, what, 700, 750? Yeah, 750. Yeah, the 750 that he got was the answer to all of our prayers. And uh, the installation for the rest of it was rather good, but we were trying to build and film at the same time. And as you know, you know, it kind of limits your ability to do so when you don't have a sole cameraman. But, I'm not a sole cameraman. But, but we got TrueNAS to post. We've got all the drives shown. Everything's showing up fine. Everything's perfect. So we, it's successful. Yeah, it was a very successful build. Beautiful little great. form factor. We're like, I, I really enjoyed building in this case, though. Yeah, I was impressed with how much space was in it. I mean, yeah, there's room still in got there room for... for three more SATA drives because he put he wound up putting five in, so he's got five 10 terabyte drives in there. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Ah, so much room for. And then activities. he had the uh, solid state drive, and then he had the M.2, and then another M.2 slot was occupied with the standoff or the. Uh, SATA port expansion. Yeah. So, so that we can have all of those six drives that are in here right now. Yeah, but really nice, nice setup and uh, very sleek and clean, very breathable case, like I mentioned before. So, he's going to go set it up at his house. And uh, with that, uh, that's a wrap. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks. See you. What's that recording on there? And I'll just add that <laughs> part in. Okay. So wait, it wasn't so, recording no. at all. No, it wasn't. So, okay, here we are now. <laughs> all right.